In this video, I want to finish off where we left off in the previous one, where we are able to actually create a session. Well, we have the logic and code there to create a session, but we end up with this warning that we cannot create it because we are not logged in. So we got to make sure we log into EOS before we do anything else. Then once we log in, we should be able to create a session, destroy the sessions, find sessions, and all that fun stuff without much of a headache. Let's head back over to our game instance, and I'm going to create a new function, and I'm going to call it login. So under init, a new void, login. Okay, so then under init, after we get our online subsystem, I want to go ahead and call login, and in here I want to do everything else. So I'm going to do the same check. So if online subsystem, we want to go ahead and if, I can't remember what it's called, so online subsystem, I can spell right, subsystem, uh, what was it? It's uh, the interface. So let's go down through the list of interfaces. Actually, let's just search for interface. We have our friends interface and our identity. So here it is. We want the I online identify or I online identity pointer. So that's what we want to get. So let's go ahead and start. So it's I online identity pointer, and to call this one identity. And we're going to set that equal to, well, again, the online subsystem get identity identity interface. From here, we can do basically it's kind of the same deal as previous stuff. So if we search for login, well, you can see we have login and log out. So those obviously do what they say. And it even states it will call an on login complete delegate when the task has completed. So we're going to set this up as well and set up a control boolean. So if we are logged in, we can create a session. If we are not logged in, we're just going to tell us in a log, uh, create session failed, not logged in. Just something like that. So let's call login. I don't think it takes in any other parameters, no. But we're still getting a complaint. So it's saying the type is incomplete, indicating that we need to include this interface. So the I online identity interface. So we're going to go ahead and include interfaces. We search for identity, we have online identity interface. And that should fix up that complaint and allow us to see the rest of the parameters. So again, local user number is going to be zero because, well, we're not doing split screen or anything. Then we want to pass in the F online account credentials. So F online account credentials, credentials. So that's going to be our remaining parameter there. So if we look at credentials, we have four things. ID, token, type. And we can ignore the debug string. So ID, ID of the user logging in. So this can be nothing. Are these strings? Yeah, F string. So ID equals F string. And then we have token, same thing. We can ignore it. What we want is the type. So we want to set the type we go something specific. However, uh, I'll show you how you can look through the types here in a second of what you might want. So we head over to plugins. This is why you might not have this depending on whether or not you followed the uh, manual installation or not. But this is why I did it. Go to online uh, subsystem EOS, go to private, scroll down to user managed EOS.cpp. I'll say, is it going to load? And we need to scroll down. So wherever, basically we're going to be checking for this type. So if this type equals something. So if we search for dot type, it should come up, in which case it does. So here you can see, yeah, we have three different types. So we have if else for exchange code, developer, and account portal. We want account portal. So let's copy that and paste it in. So this is going to be the one that we want. That solves our login credentials. Now we want to set up the, uh, what do you call it, the login delegate. So when the login's completed, we want it to fire off a delegate. So we're going to do identity. Uh, let's see, login, on login complete delegate. So called when a user account login has completed. Dot find 
if I can go back. Uh, do do do. Where's you object? And it's photos bind unless I'm being am I being dumb? No, yeah, it is add. I don't know why I was thinking it was bind, but when I add a U object, pass in this because it's our own class, and then we need to create a function for this. So I want to go ahead and go to the delegate, see the parameters. All right, so it looks like I believe these can be ignored. Right, we're going to control click to on login complete. So as well as I can see here, takes in the local user number. B was successful. That's actually it. Yes. So here's the parameters. So integer 32, boolean, f unique net ID, and f string. So I'm going to copy all these parameters. Go to our game instance h and do a void on login complete and pass in those parameters. All right, now we're going to pass in a pointer to this function, like so, so that way it knows to call it. And then just like what we did here, when it's finished, we want to destroy or get rid of the delegates so that way it doesn't fire multiple times on each well potential login so just as a precaution more or less we're going to copy everything inside a login and paste it into on login complete remove everything inside of the if statement for identity and we're do identity clear on login complete delegates and pass in this says the object on login complete okay what are you complaining about Okay, what are the parameters? Oh, local user number, so zero, and then the object that we want to, well, get rid of. So I want to do that at the end, and do a check. So you read log, log temp, warning, text. Let's do logged in, percent D, B was successful, like so. So hopefully this will fire off, and we are in fact calling login. Okay, close down the editor, relaunch, and see what happens. Okay, back in the editor, make sure we have our output log. Let's go ahead and hit play. And it immediately kicked me to the browser. So if we head back, we're not going to have any indication. Well, actually, we'll say the error code and all that kind of stuff. But what we need to do is continue to app and allow, just like we did with these sample projects, and give it a couple seconds. And just like before, we should have our on login. Yep, there we go. So logged in one. So that means, where is it? This is successful. So our login attempt was in fact successful. Now from here, what we can do is hit create session. And as you can see, success. So it created the session as intended, just fine. So that means we are good to go. So we now have kind of the base for everything we need. We have the way to log in. Now we just need to do a check to see if we're logged in before we even attempt to create a session. So I'm going to use this Boolean to tell us whether or not we're logged in. So under protected, I'm going to do bool b is logged in. By default, this is going to be false. Then on login complete, we're going to set logged in to equal b was successful. Actually, I'll leave that log there, indicating that we are, in fact, logged in. And then if we head down to create session, we want to do a check. So if B is logged in and the online subsystem is valid, we want to create a session. However, that might give us some ugly results, so I'm just going to wrap it in a separate if statement. So if B is logged in, otherwise, we want to print out a log here. And the else stating that cannot or cannot create session not logged in. And I would change this from warning to error. Although I guess warning would be a better fit. Yeah, why not? We'll just take it to error just to really let us know. All right. Let's give this one more try and just confirm that it does work. OK. 
Okay, let's hit play, and it may or may not kick us back out. It does, so while we're not logged in, I want to hit create session, and there we go. Cannot create session, not logged in. So what I'm gonna do, continue to app, and allow, just like last time, and wait for it to finish, because if I still hit create session, it's gonna say not logged in. So we have to wait, well, I'm kind of speaking to the choir here, obviously until it is finished. So we are now logged in, create session, successful. So we're good to go. So now we have proper logging in, creating the session, and everything's simplified. Like everything's easy and good to go. So we could set up some form of way to tell when we've logged out and that kind of stuff. And that'll just basically, I don't see why we necessarily would log out, but maybe you have some form of inactivity dealio do that. I don't, I don't know. Use your imagination. Anyways, that is going to wrap up this video. And in the next one, now that we have login taken care of, we will work on destroying sessions and I probably will shrink these up into actually very short separate videos. So we're going to cover destroying sessions next and then probably in a separate video to keep them short uh, we're going to actually work on finding sessions so that way we can find a session that we want to be able to join so that is going to be all for this video if you like what i'm doing and you want to help support me you can find a link to my patreon in the description below where i have a team deathmatch series just for patrons as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos such as this one if you have any questions or anything like that feel free to join my discord that is also linked down below and i'll try to help you out so I'll see you in the next video.